Yes, first of all, why are you running to become Copeland's next MP? Um, well, I decided to stand because I've lived here all my life. Um, 40 years knowledge and understanding and I basically want to make the area a better place for everyone, not least for my four teenage daughters and their generation. So what experience do you actually have to become the next Member of Parliament? Well for the last 10 years I've worked in local politics, um, securing local services and, and that was from a variety of funds and securing planning applications. I've also worked for Copeland Borough Council as the Regeneration Officer for the area. And really what that's done is provided me with a, an excellent understanding of the people, the place, the issues surrounding poverty and the opportunities for um, shared prosperity. And what would you say would be your top priorities should you become the next Member of Parliament? Top priorities would certainly be around a stronger economy and that's um, about securing suicide, working with Newgen, the government and partners to make sure that we, we get the investment there, move aside the, the nuclear new build. Also about um, improving the infrastructure, so retrunking the A595, I think that's essential. Um, dueling in parts and also supporting uh, recruitment for better services. Now one of the main talking points of this by-election is the NHS with maternity services at the West Cumberland Hospital uh, under threat. needs more than anything is a strong confident voice in Parliament and um, a voice who has the ear of Theresa May and the government is is obviously going to be the most effective but I think more importantly it's the voice of somebody who was born at that hospital I've given birth at that hospital four times I have a track record for securing services and as I say I've got 40 years knowledge and understanding of this area and the needs of this area now another big talking point in this by-election is nuclear power and the nuclear sector dominates the economy in Copeland. How would you plan to diversify that economy considering that there is such a big pay gap between those that work at Sellafield and those that don't? Okay, so I've actually been doing this in my own village in Bootle over the, the last few years. We've secured the Lake District National Park's biggest ever mixed-use plan and permission and that's for Wellbank, a, a 50 home, 40 bedroom hotel mixed use development. And that's that's part of the story of how we can diversify. So we can we can use the investment at Moorside as a catalyst to really promote ourselves as a centre of nuclear excellence, supporting the supply chain and all the industries because nuclear is our backbone, economic backbone. Now let's talk about a big national issue now in, in Brexit. Um, now the Conservative Party have said that it's their policy to, to take us out of the European single market. Do you think that's what the people of Copeland voted for when they voted overwhelmingly to leave? Well, 62% of, of Copeland voted to leave, that's right. And what I'm hearing on the doorstep is that they, they voted to leave because they want control. Control over their own laws, control over their own borders, and the ability to trade with the world without restriction from Brussels. And just referring back to our ambition to become the centre of nuclear excellence, promoting the, the, the world-class skills, the very specialised skills that we already have in West Cumbria, those that my family own, and I'm very proud of that. You know, we need to be able to trade globally without restriction. Leaving the EU will enable us to do that. But leaving the single market in particular may uh, bring about tariffs which obviously would be very damaging to people in, in Copeland that export uh, to the EU. What would you say to those people? What I would say is that I back Theresa May's plan and we will be making the, um, the best of Brexit. And it's important that we have a strong voice in Parliament from an MP who will be working with local companies, the supply chain and also New Gen, Sellafield Limited, to make sure that the needs of this area are heard loud and clear in Parliament so that the right decisions are taken and the right deal is secured. Now, a final question. It's looking like it's going to be a tight race between the Conservatives and Labour, and that's what all the polling seems to be showing. How confident are you feeling? Um, 
Well, it's been 82 years, so it's a big ask. I'm confident that my plan is what the community needs, and I'm confident of that because I've spoken to so many people on the doorstep and over the last, you know, 10, 20 years, um, really since, um, since leaving school. It's something that I want. Growing up here all my life, my friends and family tell me that we need a stronger economy, we need better services, and we need an improved infrastructure. So I'm confident that my plan is what the people want. I just hope that they'll come out and vote on the 23rd of February.